The latest news regarding the Luna Classic. The price of Luna Classic has reached its lowest point since June 2022, accompanied by a decrease in trade volume to $21 million in August, marking the lowest figure of the year. In contrast, Shiba Inu experienced a significant surge in sales, reaching $317 million in August. Over the past 24 hours, there has been a 50% decrease in social media discussions regarding Luna Classic, despite a rise in net sentiment from plus 24.1% to plus 36.6%. The notable decline in overall buzz surrounding Luna Classic diminishes its significance. Recent updates from Station Wallet have highlighted certain security enhancements and advised users to refrain from utilizing their desktop and mobile Terra money applications temporarily. Simultaneously, the L1 Terra Classic Task Force issued several progress updates. According to one of the sources, the development of the code for Core version 2.2.0 has been completed, and the subsequent phase of testing is expected to commence in the near future. In May 2022, it is anticipated that the introduction of Luna 2.0 by the Terra Foundation may perhaps ameliorate the situation following the Terra crash, thereby offering a fresh iteration of the Luna platform. The prior cryptocurrency has been assigned a new designation. The investors of Luna Classic Dollar Lunch did not support the introduction of the new Terra Luna, contrary to expectations. Currently, the market capitalization of Luna Classic is 2.5 times greater than that of Luna 2.0. The question at hand is if the resurgence of Terra Luna is genuine and sustainable. For further information, please continue reading. The current status or condition of Luna is unknown. The Terra UST, a stable coin, was supported by the Terra Luna token UST, valued at 2 billion. These UST tokens were removed from circulation at Anchor and subsequently sold on the market. Consequently, the pegging of UST to the US dollar ceased, prompting numerous individuals to exchange their UST, which had depreciated below the value of a dollar, for Luna tokens worth one dollar. This phenomenon resulted in the mining of Luna tokens worth billions of dollars. The continuous cycle of UST selling perpetuated the mining of billions of Luna tokens thereby exerting downward pressure on the price of Luna. Despite the overall positive performance of the crypto market in 2023, Luna Classic has had a decline in price. This raises the question of the underlying reasons for this occurrence. One possible explanation is the increased availability of alternative investment options for investors this year, as inflation rates have decreased. Consequently, the crypto market sentiment appears to be optimistic and favorable. All types of coins, including both newly introduced ones and those that faced difficulties in the previous year, are currently performing satisfactorily. The majority of cryptocurrencies are diligently striving to enhance their practical applications, which in turn is resulting in the formation of partnerships and the expansion of their user base. Luna Classic, in particular, is making efforts to bridge the gap and catch up with its counterparts. The L1 team is now engaged in ongoing efforts to enhance the functionality of Terra Classic, with the aim of facilitating its utilization by decentralized applications, dApps. The Luna community has consistently encountered conflicts with those seeking to exploit the enthusiasm of investors for personal financial gain. Despite successfully navigating these challenges, such adversities have impeded the pace of development. Can Luna Community strive for improvement? To date, the Luna Community has undertaken efforts to incorporate novel functionalities into the blockchain infrastructure, enabling seamless integration with decentralized applications, dApps. Significant and continuous modifications are being implemented in the realm of technology to enhance the compatibility of blockchain with applications. The objective is to enable the smooth operation of applications developed on Terra Luna 2.0 on Luna Traditional Burn. The Terra Luna Classic Tax Burn is regarded as a potential solution for addressing the deteriorated Terra ecosystem, as it would result in a reduction in the quantity of tokens available in the market. Currently, 50 billion tokens have been burned, and as a consequence, no new tokens will be generated to ensure the effectiveness of the burn process. 
The term works refers to various forms of creative or intellectual output, such as literature, the activation of interblockchain communication, IBC, facilitates cross-chain interoperability, enabling seamless communication and message transmission between individuals operating on distinct blockchain networks. This functionality significantly enhances the feasibility of decentralized applications, dApps, to operate concurrently on many blockchain platforms. The primary objective of implementing dApps on Terra Luna 2.0 was to facilitate the repegging of USTC to $1, thereby enhancing liquidity and expediting the token burn process. Over the past few weeks, the community has contributed small-scale applications to the blockchain. These measures were strategically devised to achieve two key outcomes, significant token burn and streamlined launch processes for dApps on Terra Classic, consequently driving up demand for Luna Classic tokens. From May to September, Luna Classic exhibited signs of improvement. However, the implementation of the burn tax resulted in a cessation of the rebound and a subsequent three-month decline in the cryptocurrency. Subsequently, the situation has shown signs of improvement, but the crucial question remains whether Luna will continue to recover or if it is currently in a precarious position. Will the performance of the Luna Classic improve over time? The current developments concerning Luna Classic trading volumes, which are closely associated with news updates, significantly impact the performance of Luna Classic. Given the absence of positive news in recent times, trading rates have been declining thus leading to a decrease in prices. The topic of discourse revolves around the concept of community discussion. A Twitter user with the handle 4lex underscore 4sh4w initiated a discussion regarding the current status of the USTC token and proposed a potential solution for re-evaluating its value. The user highlights that the mentioned figure of 70 does not encompass USTC holdings within the CP or Oracle pool which could also be eliminated if USTC stakeholders desired to do so. The user presents two alternatives, firstly, endorsing the proposal to re-evaluate the token's value and burning over 90% of USTC by transferring it to the burn address, or secondly, voting to burn all USTC associated with inactive protocols, as well as the majority, if not all, of USTC held in community-owned smart contracts. The user inquires about the additional stakeholders whose agreement is necessary for the successful implementation of this proposal. According to Lex underscore 4SH underscore 4W, there is no necessity for the involvement of any other individuals. However, another user argues that if the tokens are stored within a Terra bank, they are collectively owned by the community, and this arrangement is acceptable to him. According to Lex underscore 4SH4W,